What's up YouTube, my name is Always. Welcome to this video of going live on YouTube. This is a complete guide. I will be covering every single topic related to going live on YouTube, such as what are the best settings for going live on YouTube according to your internet and how to find those settings. So the software I'll be using is called OBS. It's a free software, you can download it from obs.com. So first I'll teach you how to use that software, what are the features available in OBS and then we go live on YouTube. So once we are live on YouTube, I will show you how to set up your live stream, such as if you want to change your thumbnail or if you want to monetize your live stream or maybe you want to tag your live stream so people can join your live stream. So that's being said, let's get started. All right guys, so the first thing you need to do is download OBS. I'll show you how to do that. So open a browser. If you have a Chrome, you can Chrome. You can, if you have a Chrome, you can open Chrome or any browser you have. So type Google.com, or you can just search directly in the Chrome, and then here type OBS. So in the OBS software, the first thing you will see OBSproject.com. That's where you gotta click. So click here, and then whether you're on a Mac. Linux or Windows there are three versions available here so depending on your operating system just click on the link all right so I'm on a Windows right now so I'll click on Windows it will start downloading and then I'll install it just click on save here so once it downloaded I will install that software the first thing what you need to do is find out what kind of system do you have right click properties and then here you see 64-bit operating system Click on this start menu, type OBS, and you should see two versions of OBS here. OBS Studio 64-bit, OBS Studio 32-bit, right? So if you have a 32-bit system, click on 32-bit OBS Studio or click on 64-bit. All right, when you start OBS for the first time, this is what you're going to see, all right? Scene and sources. So you need to create a scene first, all right? So click on plus sign and then name your scene and click OK. And now you need to add sources, all right? So here I will click on plus sign and I'll find a lot of options here, all right? I can capture game, I can window capture, display capture, or media capture, right? So let me close my explorer here. So let's go and add a video capturing device. So click here, click OK, and here it will give me an option what video capturing device I want to use. So I have few webcams here so I'll click on HD webcam as you can see that my screen here now it's been added let me delete that okay so click here to delete any uh, source from your OBS click plus again let's uh, add display capture so if I click on display capture it's gonna start capturing display okay so whether you want to capture a display or you want to stream your game it depends what you want to do so add all those sources here you can even add external microphone by selecting audio input capture all right so once you done with your sources i want you to go and find your internet speed now so let's open edge browser and i will open website speedtest.net okay so here let me check my internet speed then i'll give you my uh, recommendation for this kind of speed what kind of setting you should be using in OBS so I click on begin test so my ping is 60 ms all right so I'm about 28 30 megabytes uh, per second downloads all right so let's look at the upload speed but because for streaming download speed doesn't really matter all you need to have is upload speed if you have a good upload speed you can stream HD I mean full HD 1080p full HD so my upload speed is currently pretty bad I'm pretty much getting one megabytes per second right. so now we know our uh, upload speed so I have 1.24 megabytes so let's go to the OBS now and then click on settings okay so you know your internet speed now the first tab will give you some general overview of the software which is like some setting language dark theme all right, so it's nothing to worry about here. Let's go to the stream tab now. Here, what you need to do is, uh, <clears throat> all right, so in the stream tab, you will see streaming type. You can see the custom streaming servers, or you can select streaming services. 
So in this video, I'll be showing you YouTube streaming. So click on service and select YouTube slash YouTube gaming. Now you need to find your stream key now. How to get to a stream key. So let me go and open my browser here. Uh, let me just close this. I don't know what is it, but all right. So let's open the browser now and then let me go to the YouTube. Click on create a studio and then click on live streaming. Okay, so on this page, you will set up or manage your live stream. Okay, so first of all, we're going to go and find our stream key. So this is my stream key here. I'm going to copy this. Okay, I need to reveal it. Just want to mention here, do not share this stream key to anyone because anyone can stream on your channel. So we found our stream key now. I'm going to go and put it in OBS. So right click, paste. All right, so we have our stream key ready and then let's go to output tab here that's the main settings are here we need to change okay so now the streaming settings are here audio track one is fine encoder so a lot of people use x264 but i have uh, nvidia graphics card so that's why i use n back h.264 which is uh which is a graphics card i'll be using to encode my live stream so that's fine if you don't have that don't worry just stick with x264 there's a rescale output so let's say your resolution of your screen is 1920 by 1080 so you can always rescale it i recommend uh streaming live on youtube on that speed i cannot and i won't be able to live stream 1080p which is 920 1080p so what do you do you rescale your output to 720p which is 1280 720p i would recommend leave it on cbr that's the default and now the bitrate that's the most important thing so if you want to live stream on 720p what i'm going to do so all your quality depending on bitrate so because i have one mb download speed now so i'm gonna change this to let's say 1000 and trust me that won't work because i was getting about 1.15 or 1.24 upload speed i was getting a really bad speed so that is why i'm going to make that 800 the only reason i'm using 800 bit trade is because i just want to make a smooth live stream so i could manage and set up live stream All right so that's fine here and that's the only setting you need to do here let's go to the audio Audio is basically you need to select what kind of uh, microphone are you using, what are the speakers you're going to be using, all right? So let's go to the video now. Here is the main uh, setting as well. So here output scale to make sure you do it 1280 720p here as well. Okay, and then frame rate. So if you have a really high uploading speed, let's say 50 megabytes upload speed, right? So you can uh, live stream 60 frames per second. But right now I'm going to keep... 29.97 frames per second hotkeys you can select if you want to uh, start live streaming or stop live streaming you can set uh, hotkeys here which is pretty useful let's go to the advanced tab leave all this setting as default because uh, there is nothing much you can do or there's nothing special here so let's apply and click ok all right so now we are ready to go guys so we can start live streaming now but first I need to add some sources to my scene. So that's what I'm going to live stream now. So now all you have to do is just click on start live streaming. So once you click on start live streaming on that live streaming YouTube page, you can see that you are about to start live streaming, starting stream, stream health, all the information is available here. So you make sure you keep an eye on it because if your live stream is pretty bad that green circle will turn to red and you won't be able to uh, see it if you're not on this page so in this page you can change the thumbnail you can create highlights so the next setting you need to do here is stream option so stream option enable dvr well it lets user to seek back up to four hours while you're streaming so and the next thing you gotta make archive unlisted when complete so once you finish your live stream this will automatically store and save that on youtube for your later use all right so this is pretty cool make sure this check this on and enable dvr as well all right so these two settings are pretty good and basic setting here you can see the title change the title you can type the description and the category if you are live streaming gaming make sure to select gaming on the top right you can see how many people are watching so right now i think i'm the only one watching 
last time that how long you've been streaming for and here your chat so anyone watching your live stream can directly send you a message and communicate with you on the top i've got the fan funding option the reason why because i've got more than 1000 subscribers so that was enabled for me but anyway if you don't see it so you got nothing to worry about so here you got the monetization option so here if i click on monetize with ads once i monetize with ads and i get like more than five people i can click on play ad button so whoever is watching it as many times i click on play ad button the ad will play and i will make money from my live stream as well which is pretty cool as well here you got analytics how many people watching and how many minutes uh, messages you're getting per minute okay so that's about your analytics and stream health here as well so right now i've got good live streaming option so down here you got the uh, sharing option as well you can share your live stream directly from here okay so to create a new live event click on new live event and then here title time description and tags as well you can turn on monetization advanced setting recording date or if it's live you don't have to put the recording date and then go back to basic here is a custom if you want to use google hangouts on air that's another feature by google you can go live and uh, capture your screen as well from there but i would recommend that for gaming you can't do that you have to use the custom encoder option so that's about it guys thanks for watching and if you still have any question and if you think uh, if you want to give me feedback about this tutorial and if you know or maybe you want to share your uh, obvious setting with me so feel free to uh, write a comment below and if you do like this video make sure you smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe